But um, first off is when you're working with an animal and you gotta, I guess with just, just like children I've been learning, they're, 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 they're exactly the same. You know, their sense, their attention span is so small that you gotta keep them guessing, keep their mind, you know, on you. But if you don't, then they start acting all silly. You get the problems of where they want to run over you, rub on you, nip at you, just like the kids right here. If you don't give them something to do, they're gonna do the same thing. They can start kicking around, drawing on stuff, you know, breaking something. And you're like, hey, no, don't do that. But they, they're exactly the same, in my opinion. The only thing is they don't speak. But they do have a language all their own. Horses, they got a body language, they call it. Their body language is their ears, their eyes, their mouth, and just their overall, how they look, their attitude. Right now, if you look at his body language, it's just like, go to sleep. Ah, I've seen this before. Now you get some horses where they're like, alert, you know, ready to do something. And they all start out like that as babies, because when they first hit the ground, the mother tells them to get up or run. And anybody know why they're taught that? Anybody? Take a question. All right, well, because that's their instinct, you know, they're, they're, they're prey animals. They don't have sharp teeth. See, he's eating grass right now. He doesn't eat meat. He doesn't have to hunt for it. It's just right there. So, he's a prey animal. 